you guys, it's Brittany and welcome back to my channel. So today I am doing my July budget plan with me and I'm really excited. I'm actually filming this super early. It is currently Tuesday, June 26th, 6.21 p.m. So I'm like happy that I'm like getting it done. So I'm gonna show you everything here that I'm going to be using. Um, some stuff I won't be able to link, like this washi that I'm going to be using. I believe this was from the Target Dollar One Spot like years and years ago. I already pre-cut it so it was like ready to go. This is also really old from Scribble Prints Co. It's just kind of like foil, just like different things. There's teardrops, there's dots, and then there's um, flags. I use these ones here in my January budget plan with me, I believe. But anyway, so I'm going to use that for my cash envelope section. Um, this is also from the Target Dollar One spot super duper long time ago. And I'm just going to use the stars here, which you will see. Um, this is from Erin Condren. It's just there. They have silver, gold, and rose gold. And I love these just to like put the month at the very top. So I'm going to be incorporating just this that says the July, the monthly. And then this is their sticker sheet here. And I love their Erin Condren sticker sheets. They're seriously my favorite to like decorate. You'll see with the page when I do it. But yeah, so I'm just going to be using this strip here and then some of these flags, which you will see. And then here I just have some character stickers from Beautiful Planning. So I like to use these to mark just to like add a little touch when I do my cash envelope section, which you will see. However, I should mention this little like Chinese takeout guy here is not from Beautiful Planning. I didn't have like... Um, I didn't print or cut any like character stickers with like food like I normally do um, But I remember I had a sticker sheet of food from a shop. Oh, what is it called? Hold on. Let me find it because I want to shout it out. So it's from plan with Vanessa and um, yeah, it's just like a sticker sheet. It's like a sampler, I believe, or maybe I don't know if this is like a sampler It was given to me. So I don't know if it's a sampler. It's like something that's just like I don't know always in her shop but um, it has a bunch of food, so I thought that little like Chinese takeout was perfect for like the whole like eating out, which I will be marking in. Um, you'll see when I mark it. So, anyways, that is what these little guys are for. Um, but yeah, and they're from Beautiful Planning. Beautiful Planning, by the way, is a printable sticker shop. I don't know if these character stickers are still in her on her Etsy shop, but if they are, I will try to link them. But um, yeah, and there's these are some other of the character ones that I have already like printed and cut. So, anyways. That and then lastly, um, not all of this. This is what I'm going to be using for the week of 4th of July. So sneak peek for that playing with me. Put these stickers here and like the paydays and the dots. These are just something I create on my own form and my and the I can't talk and the Silhouette Studio program. Um, so anyways, yeah, let's go ahead. I like to always start with my monthly because I feel like that is just the easiest. Um, and obviously that's what I already have the page start up to. So over here, I am just going to write down um, or not write down put down, I should say, my credit score sticker. I just like to track my credit score every single month just to see how I'm doing, if I'm progressing, not doing good, you know, just to like keep track of it. So that's just what that's where I write the number, how many credit cards I have open, and then like um, my two accounts that I have that are open and like what's left on those payments. So that's what I like to write over here. Um, then I'll go ahead and I will start doing my 52 week savings challenge. I feel like I repeat a lot in my budget videos but I just like to repeat just because I know sometimes I have new people that watch my videos and so I don't know like let me know if you watch all of my planning videos do you prefer I don't repeat as much or I don't know I mean I'm gonna try not to repeat as much but sometimes I don't know I'm just an explainer and sometimes I over explain things so if I don't explain something, if you watch my very, very first budget plan with me, that's my January one, everything is like detailed, explained in that. So that's probably a good video to start with if you have any questions. But of course, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the video. I respond to everybody. So I will definitely respond to your question if you have one or comment, whatever. But um, yeah, so this is my 52 week savings challenge and I'm actually doing really good with it and I'm really happy about it because I've been saying I've been wanting to do one forever and then I don't ever do one. So I feel like the past three years I've been wanting to do one and I haven't done one and I'm finally like doing it and sticking to it. So for my 52 week savings challenge, every single month I do it different. So one month I will do high numbers and then the next month I will do low numbers. Basically every single week you're supposed to put money away. Um, and then by the end of the year you have like 1300 ish dollars saved up. Um, but yeah, and it's like a really good way just to, you know, add to an extra savings account. So that's what I'm doing, except I don't do it every week just at the, um, 
very beginning of the month I know exactly how much money needs to go into the 52 week savings account and so I just like automatically deposit that way I'm not doing like this month there would be five deposits because I don't know I just rather just get it all over with um, since I have the money I can do that so for I'm gonna have to tilt this a little bit sideways sorry guys but I do like to fill out on camera so anyways um, so for here I'm going to be putting in $14 and so when I do that that means I would have seven hundred and three dollars into my savings account then the week after that I put in fifteen dollars which would just be seven hundred and eighteen dollars total then I would put in sixteen and that's gonna be seven thirty four and then $17, which would be $751. And then the last week, $18, which would be $769. So by the last week of July, I will have $769 in my little like savings account, which is pretty good. And I don't touch that money at all whatsoever. I just like act like that money doesn't even exist. So I just like to fill that out there and that'll be like nice to know like hey getting that money in there so and you don't have to flip flop it like i'm doing it like one week one month high one month low um i got that tip from somebody and i just really liked that idea so that's why i decided to do that um and then i'm gonna go ahead and put down my paydays so i am gonna be getting paid on the fifth or no the fifth I'm getting paid on the 6th. What am I talking about? So I'm getting paid on the 6th. I get paid every other week. So on the 6th and then, oh, so funny, on the 20th. And my husband, he actually gets paid. I have not had this happen yet. He actually gets, he has set payday. So he gets paid on the 5th and also on the 20th. So... But I already have, you know, I'm just going to put, because I do them in two different colors. Can you guys tell on, yeah, you can tell on camera. So I'm just going to put the other one just like right next to it. Why not? So that way, like, I know, like, we both get paid. We do have separate bank accounts in case you guys are wondering. And, um, yeah, that's just how it's always been. And that's just, like, how we like to keep it. So that's that. And now I'm going to move on to bills due. So I have my Costco credit card bill due on the 2nd. And then on the 15th right here, I have my Capital One credit card bill due. Then on the 17th, I have my American Express. <clears throat> and then on the 13th, I actually have um, my Honda payment due, but my husband pays the Honda payment. I just like to mark it because my name is on the loan and I like to track it over here in my credit score. So that's just why I like to mark it and put it down. And then I have my care credit card, which is from my husband's eye surgery. That is due on the 26th. I do have two other bills. I have my car insurance and my Cox, which is my cable, internet, and TV. However, I don't know when they're due. They're usually due like they're just randomly due. I don't know why those, those like due dates always change, but I want, I like to keep this accurate. So I don't like to mark it until I absolutely know like when, when it's due. Does that make sense? Like I want everything to be hundred percent accurate. Um, so that's basically it. I don't write the numbers or anything like that or like what it is because I do go into detail over here, which you will see in a second. Um, and then over here on this side, I like to put things that are happening in the month of July. So, or like what's happening that month, like big things. So like, for instance, um, if there was like a birthday, if there was something like last month, we went to the San Diego, or I should say this month, cause I'm still in June. Like we went to the San Diego fair. I registered my daughter for swim lessons, father's day. So I wrote those three things down because those would be like be expenses that we will be paying for. But this month, honestly, I can't think of anything so i'm not gonna write anything down because i honestly have no idea i can't think of like anything major that's happening in the month of july <clears throat> that i would be like spending extra money on besides like bills and like just random things so 
gonna leave that blank but if I think of other things I will write it down so anyways that is that page so this is going to be like my cash envelopes on this side and then this side here is going to be like my bills and detail as well as like my incoming outgoing and kind of like my debt how I break it down I'm really sad too Erin Condren just came out with like the new deluxe monthly and they are getting rid of these pro productivity sheets these are now just gonna be lined paper and I don't really know how I feel about that. I'm actually not excited about it. So I don't know. I know a lot of people are happy about it, but I am not one of them. So I'm gonna need this my little character stickers and I am going to need this. Um, so over here for my cash envelopes, I really don't use like cash for it. I use my debit card and I like to keep track. I, I'm not like crazy, crazy strict on it though. I do give myself a budget that I don't wanna spend a certain amount. But if I go over, I go over like I'm not gonna like kill myself I try not to go over don't get me wrong but I'm not gonna like I don't know I don't know how, what I'm trying to say I'm not gonna like go nuts like if I do go over I'm not gonna I don't know do you guys know what I'm trying to say like obviously I want to stick to the budget like why else am I budgeting however if I go over it's not the end of the world and I'm not gonna like kick myself for it I hope I hope I'm making sense so anyways, I'm just gonna put these teardrops in. Um, I wanted this this like monthly to be kind of like a theme, kind of like 4th of July, cause it is, you know, the month of July, our big celebration. So I just wanted everything to kind of be like silver and blue and like try to incorporate some red. So. I don't know if these teardrops are gonna look the best, but I have these stickers, so I was like, I might as well use them instead of making my own. Cause I almost just like made my own little flags, but I was like, yeah, let me just use up what I have. So all right, I got those teardrops in, so I don't need these anymore. I'll set that to the side. Um, and then let me get out my Sharpie. So I'm not changing the amounts at all for the month. Um, I'm just going to keep everything as is. So for groceries, I allot myself $350, which I've actually been doing really good with. Um, I'm like pretty happy about it. And I'm just going to put my little panda here holding the grocery bag just to signify groceries. I don't know. I just think it's cute and it's just something I like to do. For eating out, I like to allot myself 100 And... I've been doing pretty good with that. So I feel like I've been doing pretty good with all of my categories. My miscellaneous category, I don't give myself like a budget. Like I can only spend like so much money in like and miscellaneous things. But um, we went like nuts at Costco this year. We are going on our big family vacation in um, September. So we bought like suitcases and we like need to buy clothes and stuff like that so um we kind of we bought new suitcases wow my pen is like this is like a sharpie f ultra fine point but it's like drying out it's a brand new one too but when i'm like trying to write on it so kind of my, my you'll see here my how much i owe with costco it's a lot of money <laughs> for this month and i'm just like ooh, but it is what it is. Oh, this is just miscellaneous, so I'm just gonna write in here. Man, what's going on with my Sharpie? No, it works fine, it's just this. This uh, type of <clears throat> paper. All right, so we're good. Oh, I didn't tell you guys. So I put 100 for eating out, 100 for family time, 50 for me time. I love that little like me time sticker. He's so cute, like in the pool. And then I have miscellaneous, which is just what I spend, just like money that I spend. If like I don't have a category for it, I just mark it here in miscellaneous. So that is what that looks like. And then as the month goes on, I will fill it. I can show you. Let me see here if I have like June's. So I will go ahead and show you guys May because that month is already done and like everything is calculated and totaled. But so you see for like groceries, I just write like the date, how much I spent, where at, and then the total. 
And so look, I only spent $120 and I allot myself $350. So um, did pretty good with groceries for the month of May. Eating out, we ate out a lot, but I still was under my $100 budget. Um, family time, so you'll see here in red, I actually went over in the family time category, so I like to put it in red, and I just put that I was over by $13.21. I didn't have any me time, and miscellaneous always gets like really filled up. And I just put the total over here and like how much I spent in like miscellaneous like charges. So that is typically what the um, cash envelope section looks like once the month is completely done. But for now, this is how this page is gonna look because obviously July hasn't started and I don't have anything to fill in. And I actually really like that. I think it looks super cute with little teardrops and yeah, I don't know. And I like adding little character stickers. I just think it just adds something and I don't know. I feel like if it's cute, it'll actually make me wanna use it and I just, I just like it like that, so. Um, now I'm gonna go on into this side here, which is going to be where I write all of my bills out extensively and how much is owed. So, and I like to do it obviously like an order that the bill is due. So the first bill is Costco. That is due on the second. And I'm just gonna, I just write the date it's due, the bill, you know, the name of the bill. And you guys, oh my God. I owe $745.44. Like, I cannot believe how high that bill is. This bill has definitely been higher, but I was just like, dear God. But we've been buying, like I said, we bought suitcases. We bought, like, just like, just, I feel like, not like house stuff, but yeah, we bought suitcases. We bought a, um, like a cleaning, like a like a card cleaning machine thing that was 80 bucks. Like we've just been like buying stuff like that we need like vitamins. I don't count vitamins as, as grocery and you know vitamins are expensive. So anyways, yeah, uh, uh, that bill is gonna kill me. On the 15th is my Capital One and I know if you guys have been watching my, my budget, you would have known I haven't been using my Capital One but I bought some character stickers on Etsy and I thought it was my debit card attached to my Etsy account and it was really my Capital One. So I owe $5.74, but no biggie. Um, and then on the 17th, I have my American Express and I owe $192.60, which I did go out of town for a meeting for work. And all of those charges are from my work meeting and my work is actually reimbursing me all of that money. So. Technically, that's not money I spent because those are like work expenses. But anyways, that's that. The next bill is going to be my USAA, but I don't know how much is owed and what the due date is. So I'm just going to leave a little space and just write USAA. And then whenever I get the amount, I will fill it in. Next bill is going to be my care credit, which is my husband's um, for his eye surgery. I got out. A credit card for that but it's good it's no interest for two years and the minimum is 250 on that and then last will be my cox but like i said i don't know how much is owed and what the date is um so i have to wait on that um but that is all of my bills so i technically only pay six bills and then i have my total which let me get that's what i'm going to use this for i feel like you guys probably know i like to use something to mark over so I can see like where my total is. I can just look at it and be like, bam, there's my total. I feel like Emeril Lagasse. Wait, is that his name? Emeril Lagasse? Is that what his name is? You know the chef that always goes, bam. I know his first name's Emeril, but is it Lagasse? I don't know, whatever. Y'all know what I mean, right? So anyways, I'm just gonna put that there and then I'm going to put total. And then once I have these two bills, I will total it up and that'll be my total um, expenses for bills. So that is that. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just put like just one of these here. I don't know which really one I wanna use. I feel like there's not, I only use one of them. So it doesn't really matter. <gasps> I just realized I did this wrong. I always put this down first. Oh, Shiza. Oh, Brittany. Oh, no, 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 no. Cause it always covers, yeah, I don't want to have to cut that, but I don't see This is an erasable pen. However, I do not want to erase everything because uh, I don't want to. I just filled all that out. Damn it. I usually always do put this down first. I can't believe 
Well, well, well. What are you going to do, Brittany? I'm going to cut it. That's what I'm going to do. Oh, I'm so annoyed with myself right now. I was looking at that too and I was like, man, I feel like I'm skipping a step here, but oh, that's so annoying, you guys. Okay, I'm sorry. I feel like I usually have my stuff together whenever. I try to be really prepared and organized whenever I do my budget videos just because I don't want to be a hot mess and I feel like these videos get pretty long, but well, <clears throat> my bad. All right, let me go ahead and put this down. Maybe I'll save that sticker sheet and use it for something. I have no idea what, but you never know. But it's still, hold on. All right, so I cut the top off. Like, I can't believe that happened, but whatever. It is what it is. I typically would have to put this down first. That way, like, I don't have to cut that off, but... And I think I cut some of the page on the other side, but it's all good in the hood. Well, it's going to have to be, isn't it? So anyways, I'm just going to try to center this the best that I can. And I just put it down and it's just like July. It's probably really like useless to put that down, but that's just what I like to do, guys. So just go with it, right? Okay, so let's go on to the flags. I'm just like so irritated with myself right now that I totally messed that up. But... Anyways, moving on. So I'm going to put the flag down here. And then I'm just going to write in for incoming. So I only get paid twice. And then sometimes I get paid AdSense, which is like YouTube income. Um, but that's technically the only pay that I have. But the only guaranteed paid, obviously, I have are my two paychecks. So I just like to write here. Paycheck one, paycheck two, and then AdSense. And my checks are always different, so it's never the same. So I don't fill that out. And then I'm going to write the total. And so once I get all two or possibly three, then I just write the total right there. And I am going to use another one of these stickers. I'm going to use the red one again just because I want it to go like red, white, and blue. And then I'm just using another red one over there just to incorporate more red. So I actually did think that out. I know. Sometimes I'm crazy. So I'm going to put that in there. And that is it for my incoming section. And then I'm going to use these strips and I am just going to put this right across like so. So... Try to get the backing off of this. Hopefully it's not going to be too difficult. There we go. <clears throat> so I, sorry I have to tilt this to the side. Hopefully you guys don't mind. But I just need it. Alright. Alright. So that is that. Oh I love that. I love that like, I have like the red incorporated. I think it looks super pretty. So then, ooh, what flag do I want to use? Do I want to use like a, a silver or a blue? I feel like this spread already has a lot of blue. I feel like I should use like the, the gray, like silver one. Why not? Yeah, why not? Let's just do it. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and put that in right here. And this is basically going to be listing all of like my out going expenses um and so some of the stuff is kind of like repetitive like where i write things but for me i like to write things down several times so i can see it in different places so i hope that makes sense so the first thing that i'm going to write is my total bills So my total bills that is going to be what this total number is here so like i said i know it seems kind of repetitive writing the number here and here but for me it just it helps me. So that's the total bills. And then the next is the total of my cash envelopes. And that's going to be the total of all four of those categories and like how much I spent. So not how much I allotted for, but how much I spent. And that number is going to go there, which I won't know until the end of the month. And then 
I put down 52 week, which I know people say is really not an outgoing expense because that is going into savings. But to me, it's outgoing because it's money that I cannot touch. Like I tell myself, I cannot touch it. So that's why I count it as like outgoing because it's not money that's just like staying in like my checking for me to use. And so that amount of money is actually $80. And so every month this number changes because like I said, it goes high, low, high, low, and also the number changes. But how I got the $80 is you just add up, like I said, I was doing one week, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So if you add up those numbers, it equals $80. So that is 80. I already know that number. And the next one is going to be my sinking funds which we'll talk about after we finish this page here so that goes there that number and then i have here miscellaneous which is gonna be <clears throat> this box here so my miscellaneous charges whatever that total is goes there and then lastly is just my total and i actually need the white and blue sticker here or the white and one, I guess. So I'm just going to put that right there. That says white and. And then I'm going to put the word total. So once I add up all of these, that total number goes right there. So that is that one. And then where did that red? Here it is. I'm like looking at it in the viewfinder and I'm seriously loving this. Oh, so my receipts are sticking out. I really think this is super, super cute. So I actually like doing this too with my, my budgets because I feel like I get to use a lot of stickers I typically don't use. Like these stickers, I mean, washi. I just feel like I can incorporate a lot of things and it just makes me happy, you guys. So anyways, um, oh, that's a big gap right there. I like to usually only do one space. I need to move this sticker. How easy is a sticker to move? That's the question. Oh, not too bad. Not too bad for a Target dollar spot sticker. Put down this washi first. If my head makes an appearance, I'm sorry. But at least I just washed it yesterday, so it shouldn't be like a big greasy mess like it typically is. Okay, so I'm just gonna put this slack. Yeah, it still looks fine. I don't mind it. I feel like I should almost layer this one since this one is like layered, you know, just so it's like the same. I know you guys, I can be a little nitpicky. I mean, if you watch my plan with me, as you know, I can be pretty nitpicky, but I'm even a little bit nitpicky about placement with my budget. So yeah, I like that. It's like layered and layered, you know, just to, you know, <laughs> keep it all kind of consistent. <clears throat> all right, moving on to the last page of the last section here. I used to call it my savings, but last month I changed it to debt because obviously we have debt now with my husband's eye surgery. So I'm just gonna keep calling it that because that's what it is. Um, so I am trying to do the whole like Dave Ramsey system. So right now I'm technically on baby step number two, which is paying off debt. So that's kind of like what I'm doing. I need to actually, let me look at that page real quick, one second. Okay, I see how I had it now. So um, for my debt, I am just doing the, like I said, baby step number two. So I'm just gonna write that. That way I know what baby step I'm on. And then I'm just gonna put here, pay off debt. And I know it's the whole like snowball thing, but I think we'll have that paid off pretty soon. But here's my question, you guys, for like those that are like have been budgeting for a while. This is like my first time ever budgeting like this January. So I have a serious question. Actually, I have two serious questions. So help me out. The whole credit card thing. If I pay off my credit cards in full every single month and get no interest, isn't it better to do that? Because that way I get rewards on my credit card. So say I spend $500 that month on my credit card and my statement is 500. I pay it off in full 500 so I don't get interest. But if like my credit card has rewards, then I get like rewards. So it's kind of like a bonus. What do you guys think about that? Because I know Dave Ramsey, like I'm not like big into knowing everything about him, but I think he says to like not do that, to use your debit card for everything. So I have a question about that. What are your thoughts on that? And then my second question is this whole debt thing. He took out a credit card from Care Credit and I did too. We should have done one. I don't know why we did it separate, but anyways. Um, 
but um, they both, we don't have to pay them off until two years. So should we just, since there's no interest for two years, just keep paying the minimum or should we just pay it off and like pay it off ASAP? Cause like I get the whole paying off ASAP that way you don't have debt, but then it's like, well, there's no interest. So what's the point of paying it off super early since there's no interest? Comment down below and let me know. I know there are some people who like are better with budgets and who've done this a lot longer and have like also like give me your different perspective on it. Um, I would really, really, really like to know. So let me know. But anyways, so back to this. Um, I'm just going to put an H for my husband. He owes a uh, 52.70 left on his card. Me, I'll put a B for me. I owe 5,500. So our total debt, I need to calculate that. Mm -hmm. We owe $10,770. Yay. Uh, how do I want to write that? How did I write that last time? I have to look, I just looked at it, but I already forgot what I did. Okay. I see you, I see you. So I'm not putting total, I'm just writing balance. So I'm just gonna put here. Balance is $10,770. And then that's where I'm gonna take this other sticker and just write it right here, or write it, put it, excuse me, right here that way i can just look at it and be like boom and you see why i did it like this red white and blue oh and then the red over there just because it starts over you know and also to add more red so yeah so that is what i owe i actually did get a reimbursement check from my insurance on his eye he had two eye surgeries he has um keratoconus which is a cornea like eye disease and he had to get two eye surgeries but it was considered out of network so our insurance didn't really like cover anything and it had to be all paid um out of pocket uh but they're only they only gave us a check for seventeen hundred dollars which was a disaster trying to get that payment but we finally got it i'm still waiting for that check to clear my bank account um but we're gonna take all of that money and put it directly into i think his credit card so this number will be like down by a lot, like $700 next month. So we're really happy about that. Um, but anyways, yeah, that's the decision that, but my, I don't know, I need to call my credit card or not my credit, my insurance company because they've processed the claim three times. So like one time sent the check and they process it two other times since then. And I'm like, why do you guys keep processing the same claim and you've sent a check? I don't know. Seems really sketchy to me. Uh, I'm sure if you watch my daily vlogs then you would have seen me complain and bitch about it uh, quite extensively. So I'm not gonna try to complain too much right now on this video, but I don't know what the hell my insurance company is doing. But I've heard from several people that my insurance company or my insurance provider company, whatever, is a bunch of shit, so. And uh, yeah, I can attest to it. It is. So anyways, and this little box, as I just carry on, I'm just putting an I for my incoming, my O for outgoing, and this is going to be what is left over. So hopefully, obviously, there's money left over and I didn't like overspend what I make. So that's going to be the incoming. There's going to be the total here, the total outgoing with all of this, and then minus and boom. And actually, you know what I'm thinking? It would be really cute if I would have put like this red washi right here. And then I layer, because I put it over here on the bottom in the corner. That's going to be cute. Okay, hold on, guys. I want to do that. Okay, so here is the washi. So it is different because it does have a backing on it. Um, and then I just cut it with my slax tool, which I will have that linked down below. Um, so yeah, let's see if I can measure this. I mean, honestly, if I don't measure it perfectly, it's really not that big of a deal. Can I get this? Ugh. And then this is just an Aaron Condren ruler, just in case you're wondering. So... Let's see if I can cut this straight. I am going to say I am happy about the new Erin Condren as far as um, I can see that they got rid of this little like box, this little box there. Um, so I am happy about that. So I will say I am happy about that change, but I'm going to miss my product. Oh, I need to make that a little bit. 
I am going to miss my little like productivity section. I know I was watching like Miss Jen plans. She was making a video on it and she was saying, you know, you can easily just draw stuff or like make stickers or add it in, but it's like ugh, so much work. I kind of don't want to do that. You know, I just want it already done for me, so to speak. So I don't know how I feel about it. Um, I feel like I did not cut that good, but whatever as long as it covers it we're good yeah that is not even at all whatsoever hi yeah yeah let me see here try to line this up with this line yeah it's fine yeah i don't feel like cutting it or another piece not that i actually ever use this washi so i guess it doesn't really matter if i cut another piece like to waste it but I just don't feel like it. Sometimes it's too much work. But uh, hey, I'm happy I get to use it. Oh, I got... Oh, no. Hello, Brittany. Oh, oh, my Lord. What am I doing? Okay, so then I'm just going to take this. And I'm just going to put it on top. You know, just to give it a little bit of a background. This honestly was not necessary at all whatsoever. None of this decoration is actually necessary, but I just thought it'd be cute to add in a little bit more of the red. I mean, don't you guys think it's cute? Let's open it up and look at everything completely. Oh my God. I seriously think this might be my favorite like monthly I've ever done, like budget I've ever done. I think it's super, super cute. I love it. Yay. Okay, sorry guys. I'm just like staring at this in my viewfinder like, ah. So anyways, this is basically how I break all of this down. So cash envelopes, bills, and then incoming, outgoing, and my debt. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about the whole credit card thing and the whole like snowball debt thing. So this is the uh, monthly again. I still haven't thought of anything to put over here. So I'm just gonna ignore it. Um, but then this is my last page. This is the dot grid. And so this, I have post-it notes everywhere, as you guys can tell. This is going to be where I do my sinking fund. So I'm going to go ahead and start drawing like my little like grid chart. And then I will come back because honestly, I'm super slow with it. And you guys will just get bored watching me do that. So I will be right back. If you don't know what a sinking fund is, just really quickly, it is... Um, not a reoccurring expense every single month. So like, for instance, your cable bill, your phone bill is a bill every single month. These are bills that happen quarterly or once a year or something you wanna save up for. So for instance, like Black Friday and Christmas that happens once a year. So you wanna put money aside every single month. So that way when Black Friday, Christmas comes, you're not scrambling to get all the money. You already have had money saved up the entire year for that. So that's kind of what it is. Here's my categories. I have Disney for my annual passes, Black Friday, Christmas, birthdays, car, vacation, my dog, medical, and then playlist live, which is something I want to go to. It's a YouTube convention in April. It's in Orlando. But now I'm kind of thinking I want to go to VidCon, which is in June in Anaheim, California. So I don't know. Just for now, I'm putting playlists, but we'll see. We'll see. I have time, you know, to change it or whatnot. So my start balance, I don't know what that's going to be. Um, I can quickly kind of show you, like, this is June. So my start balance is going to be whatever my end balance is from the month previous, if that makes sense. Medical is in red because I spent a lot of money in June in, like, medical expenses. And I didn't have enough money in my um, sinking fund to pay myself back. I hope that makes sense. So I still owe myself $36.89 for medical expenses. And every month I say I'm gonna put $100 into my um, medical sinking fund, but since I still owe myself $36.89, actually for this month I'm only gonna put in $63.11. So I guess I could write that right now. So the plus is obviously for adding money in. So that's gonna be 63.11 for medical. And actually, let me just go down the list. So for Disney, 146 a month, and that is for three annual passes. I get a lot of questions on that. For Black Friday, Christmas, I put away 46. For birthdays, I put away 25. My car, 42. Vacation, 84. Uh, my dog, 25. Medical, usually 100, but like I told you guys. And then Playlist Live, I am putting away 109. So then what I would do is I would just total all of this up, which I guess I could do right now real quick. So what is that? 146, 46. 
25, 42, 84, 25, 63.11, plus 109. So that's $540.11 that I will be depositing into my sinking fund the first of the month. So July 1st, I will put in the 540.11 into that account, and I probably won't, can I fit all that in there? Yay, okay. So that's what I will do. I put in 540.11, and I know some bank accounts, if you do so many withdrawals and transactions, I don't know if it's transactions or withdrawals. Um, I'm not much sure. I know Ms. Jim Plans talks about it, like the IRS tax thingy. So what I do is, in my sinking fund, I only deposit once a month. I don't ever withdraw. So I can flip you guys to June real quick again. Um, so see here, I actually had to take out from the sinking fund from Wiggles, $11.50 to get her anal glands done. I know, gross, but if you have a dog, you probably know what I mean. And then I spent $13 on her food. So um, this money here, I'm gonna actually gonna tally, or not tally, but calculate this, put it here in the minus column, so because I'm actually deducting money from my sinking fund. So it's gonna be $6.21 plus $25, and I only, yeah, my sinking fund for her is smaller because I've actually, you know, taken the money from it. So it's going to be 621 plus 25 minus what I owe myself. And then that's going to be my end balance for Wiggles. Um, and so, yeah, what I would do then is if I owed myself, I don't know how to explain this. But actually for Wiggles, since I owe myself money, I'm, no, I'm confusing myself. What am I trying to say? I only... No, I owe myself money. So for Wiggles, I'm not going to put $25 into that account. No, 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 no. Actually, let's calculate that right. Well, it's hard to say because hopefully, I mean, it is the 26th, so I hope I don't have any expense for Wiggles, you know, within the next couple of days. But you, you never know. My dog has got out and freaking, what do you call it, picked her up. So let's see. So technically, 25 plus 6.21, that's $31.21 in my sinking fund for Wiggles. But $11.50 plus $13. I owe myself $24.50, right? $24.50. So what is that? 6.21 plus 25 equals minus 11.50 minus 13, 6.71. <clears throat> so I'm actually not gonna put the full 20, oh, I have to write this down. 11.5 plus 13, 24.50. So here, let me just draw this out. I feel like I'm not making sense. I'm probably confused. I feel like when I try to explain this crap to you guys, like on here, I sound like a babbling idiot and I confuse myself, but it, I swear, it makes, it makes sense. Let me just, let me just do this. Hopefully I don't, Wiggles, you better not have any more expenses this month, okay? Because I am just writing this out as if the month is over. And then I just write here like, total. So anyways, I spent $24.50 on my dog for the month of June. So that means I'm taking out $24.50. So I technically had $25. I technically had $6.20 in my account on the first of the month. Then I'm adding 25 on June 1st. I already added that $25, right? So that's $31.21. But I'm taking out $24.50 because I owe myself $24.50, you know? Because I spent money out of my debit card, but technically my sinking fund needs to pay me back $24.50. Does that make sense? So I have $31.21 in my sinking fund for my dog. I spent $24.50 of my own money, so my sinking fund owes me $24.50, right? That makes sense. Um, so that leaves my sinking fund with only $6.71 at the end of the month, only $6.71. So since I don't go in and just like withdraw the $24.50, because if I took the money out you know, as many times as I borrow from these categories or like pay myself, I don't call it borrowing, I call it paying myself back from these categories, I might go over like that threshold and I don't wanna like have to deal with any like IRS tax BS. 
So anyways, I normally put in $25 into the sinking fund, but since I owe myself $24.50 and I only do one like deposit, so to speak, I'm only gonna put 50 cents into my sinking fund. Does that make sense? Because I typically put 25 and I owe myself $24.50. And yes, you guys, I literally am going to put in exactly 50 cents. So my start balance over here is going to be $6.71 because that's my end balance. So my start balance is $6.71 and I'm only adding 50 cents. So hopefully Wiggles doesn't need anything this month. If she does, then obviously this account will go negative and I just won't put in like the 25 to like pay myself back. I hope I made sense with this. I feel like I probably just confused the shit out of you guys. And if I did, I apologize so, so much, but I swear it makes sense. I just feel like I'm not good at explaining this this well, but I hope I made sense. I tried to explain it the best I could, but yeah, I don't know what else to say other than that. But yeah, this is basically my sinking fund and this is pretty much my budget. Okay, so this is my July budget plan with me. I, I really hope I didn't confuse the crap out of you guys with this whole sinking fund and like how I calculate paying myself back. But if you have any questions, comment down below. I will try to answer them the best that I can. Hopefully you guys understood what I was like trying to explain. But so anyways, yeah, this page is my sinking funds and then it goes in to my monthly, which is just kind of like an overview for me to look at everything to see like when payday is, when bills are due, just to like look at it at a glance. And then this is my cash envelopes and this is like my like worksheet. So bills, incoming, outgoing, and my debt and like my final totals here. So I hope you guys did enjoy my July budget plan with me. If you have any questions at all, definitely comment down below. If you have any comments, suggestions, anything, go ahead and comment those down below too. But I hope you guys did enjoy it nonetheless. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.